podcast is about texting and emailing specifically to anyone. It could be anyone and it could be social media. It could be emailing to your job, someone you love. However, it can get really misconstrued. So the key here as a writer author is you have to write a story and you have to make it non-judgmental, thoughtful, loving, unconditionally loving, and it can be as long or short as you want it, but it's got to be sincere, and it has to be, it has to make sense to the other person. I catch myself, I like to write, and then I have to catch myself, and I have to reorganize my thoughts, put them on paper, piece them out, and all my texts, all my emails, because when someone doesn't really care to pick up the phone and they don't want to talk to you, something's up or something's wrong because they're hiding. They're hiding behind their, their internal thoughts. And this is the problem in America today, period. I remember when I had my radio show back in Texas and I learned a lot about people, you know, sitting one-on-one is so important when you're just looking at someone's face and their emotions and gestures and so forth because you don't know what they're saying behind your back. You don't know. It could be good, bad, and indifferent, whatever. You just, if you're not in front of the person, if you're not in front of that person, you don't know really how they feel. And basically, it's just about information. Now, if you know the person and you know their character and their heart and you've been around them a long time, then you get it. But people who can't pick up the phone and just say hello or call you or talk to you, there's a problem, then they have a problem. A lot of people in life just don't want to talk about anything. So I'm not here to judge. I'm just here to point out that texting Your ingredient concern and your own life recipe is a problem when you can't pick up the phone and communicate. So your texting and emailing has got to be precise. So go think about that and get back to me if you have questions. Talk to you soon. You have a great day, a great evening, and I bid you adieu. This is author Molly Ann Holt.